Hello and welcome to another episode of Mail here on Steven Vlog. Today we are doing the month. February of 2016. February 2016. Doing pretty good. Catching up. Getting your mail opened up and then putting our arms into the boxes and pulling out the things that are in there and then showing them to all of you. That's how this... That's essentially how mail works. kind of how it works. All right. So, first up is our featured leather, and our featured leather is... From Rachel in Iowa City, Iowa. Dear Stephen Amell, Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm a sophomore, junior when you may read this. No, you're still a sophomore. Uh, at the University of Iowa in Iowa City, Iowa, which is incredibly fun to say, studying English. Such creative names I know. I love to write novels, but because I like financial stability, I'm considering becoming a publisher and writing as a side hobby. I've written to you before, but as a starstruck teen. Now, I consider you guys awesome human beings with adorable cats. I literally would reach into my computer screen and pet Sagan and Kepler if I could. Rocco, too. Steven, I'm saddened by how little you read nowadays. How long has the Steve Jobs book been sitting on your nightstand? Do you just read like a sentence a day or something? Mao, I love your Mao Makes channel and I want to buy all of the prints of your paintings, or maybe an original, but I'm a poor college kid. I have a no money. It's written like that. I, ha I have a no money. You like that impression? It's pretty good. Uh, it all goes towards books, food, and the occasional amiibo. Also, Stephen, Iowa has the Sweet Corn Festival and that rich soil filled with iceberg sediment deposits, so it's the corn state, not Indiana. But I don't believe you've been to Iowa, so I can't harp at you. Besides, Midwest equals corn. From Rachel. Uh, P.S. The Sweet Corn Festival is in my hometown, um, Adele. So maybe I'm just overreacting. Well, Rachel, first off, thank you for the uh, for the letter. Um, the Steve Jobs book has been there for a long time. I, uh, you know, I, I read less nowadays. Although, to be fair, I've always not read a ton. I really, like, I... I read a lot when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I was a bookworm. Um, I mean, I was big into video games, but I also read a lot. But as I got older, I just, I read less and less. And nowadays, I, I would legitimately be interested in reading. Absolutely. It's just, I'm really busy. But someday, someday I'm gonna read Steve Jobs, and then Thomas is gonna look like a fool. <laughs> show him. Make him eat his hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy him a hat and then I'm going to cover the barbecue sauce. Anyway, Rachel, thank you so much for the letter. Alright, next up we have packages and the first package is from... I'm not sure, but it's from Algonquin, Illinois. Okay, well let's open it up. So this is the package and inside was a little tiny note card and it says, to the Georges, y'all are wonderful folks. Please remain incredible. All the best, Carrie. The following is me attempting to be helpful, so please feel free to omit it from the mail video, especially if you already know about the stores. If, you've, if, you're, if you're ever in need of a used game store while visiting Wisconsin or driving to it, for that matter, my cheap plug is to check out Half Price Books. Though I can't speak for the quality of all the stores, the one I work at can get some crazy cool video game merchandise in. The games I included, probably not on that list. The chain hasn't fully entrenched itself in the South, but Northern Illinois and Wisconsin do have their fair share. I've never been to a Half Price Books, but I've actually... Um, heard of it and I have friends who have had good finds there um, also not just games but um, uh, like music like records and CDs I believe mm -hmm. pretty sure what's in there what fix the advent I have literally never heard of this game not even close have I heard of this game. And also a 32X game. Another 32X game. And a 30, oh wow. I'm getting my 32X fix on. Wow, cool. Doom and a Star Wars Arcade. Oh man, I wonder if this is like, I wonder if this is just like the arcade version of Star Wars. There's a, there's a Star Wars ar arcade game and I might be misremembering it, but I think it's like three different games in one and like one of them's like a, third person lightsaber thing and another one you're in the ship and you're shooting I have very bad memories of that not bad like I had a bad experience your but memories like, themselves my memories are shoddy and not so good but interesting um, we've only ever had one 32x game oh two because we got Calibri the game where you play as a hummingbird mm -hmm. so you you have literally doubled our 32x collection. We um, we haven't really collected many of them. I think there's uh, I think there's less than 40 games for it. So we have like what is that? 
a tenth of the entire set now. Very, very cool. Um, this is interesting. I've never even heard of this game, um, but it's by Age Tech, which tells me that it's probably super crazy rare and hard to find because Age Tech games typically are. Interesting. I mean, not all of them, but certainly some of them. And I've never heard of this game before. It looks interesting based on fix, the cover. Fix the adventure. Magnetically charged adventure. The world of Magnetica is in turmoil. And it all started when Fix swallowed the fabled Magnesia stone that fell from the sky. He must now make it past hundreds of obstacles and fierce creatures on his journey to the sanctuary. Once he returns the Magnesia stone to its proper place, peace will return to the land. <laughs> Perform a super jump. Man, this is this is weird. Like this is almost this almost has to go straight to first twenty because I've never even heard of this game. Anyway, Carrie, thank you so much for for fix and then also for the thirty two X fix and essentially doubling our collection uh, in one letter. Next up, we have a package from Andrew in Edmonds, Washington. All right, and what did Andrew send? There's a big a few things. There's a big box here and. I can I can see kind of into it. Is that? There's a bunch of stuff. Is there a? Start with that. Is there a leather? Um. Uh, oh, is this an actual PlayStation TV? If there is a leather, I don't see it yet. Wow, this is really cool. Someone sent us a PlayStation TV. What's very very neat. Uh, so the PlayStation um, TV is a device that it lets you do. There's two main things, and I don't know if it says on the box. Uh, and I hope I'm not getting this wrong. There's two main things it does. It allows you to use PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation Now. Play and we can also use PlayStation Now because we have a PS4, mm -hmm. which is a streaming system. Okay. So, like, you can stream a, a huge library of PlayStation games. I think not just PS4 games, but, like, other games. Okay. Um, like, older PlayStation games. So, like, for example, if my parents used this, they could, like, play, you know, Final Fantasy VII. That like kind of thing. a mini PlayStation? Well, it streams it, so it's not like it's doing any of the processing. Oh. But it also allows you to play PS Vita games. We don't have a Vita. No, but we have Vita games. Yeah, we do. So you can actually, I'm pretty sure, I hope I'm getting this right, because I've read about this a little bit. I think I saw Vita on the side. Just we'll keep going. Memory card for the PS Vita system sold separately required for some game downloads. Oh. Okay, so, I th but I think that's right. I'm pretty, okay, okay, it says right here. A sleek and compact console with a universe of PlayStation games available to stream, download, and play. PlayStation TV can also be used as a second console in your bedroom to stream your PlayStation 4 games with remote play for PS4 and to stream select PlayStation 3 games from PlayStation Now. Maybe it doesn't play PS Vita games. Maybe the early ones did or something. Okay, so this actually does something different I didn't even know it does. You could essentially, I'm guessing, hook this up to like the TV in the other room and then you could play PS4 games and stream them to that TV. Oh. What? That's bizarre. That's really bizarre. Yeah, it's it's actually still sealed. Huh. Cool. I I only know a little bit about these, not a ton, but I, I think it does maybe let you play PS Vita games. Anyway, thank you. Um, I still need to learn more about this and exactly all the things it can do, um, but that's very, very cool. It, it, it's essentially a console. Super NES, Super Scope 6. You know why it's called 6? Why? Because there are the six games on it? Yes. Okay, so it's like, what's the name of the game? Six Pack on Genesis. Yeah, it's called Super Scope 6 because it got six games on it. Not because it's the six Super Scope game, because that would be, what? Do, 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 bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, ba, dum, 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 ba, do 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 I don't know what Sonic song that is. That's um it's from uh it's from Sonic Adventure one or two and I can't remember. Oh then I wouldn't know it. Yeah I know. It's just I thought you would start singing like rolling around at the speed of sound. Rolling around at the There's a lot Okay for any criticism anyone has about any Sonic games, fine. You can take it up and decide whether the, the that particular Sonic game was good or bad. You can't say a word about the music. Every single Sonic game's Even music. Even Sonic's Blue? Every single Sonic game has incredible music. Did you know Sonic's Blue? 
I tend to exclude the songs of lyrics. Sonic's blue, Sonic's blue. That's not the Sonic's words. Sonic's blue. That's not the words. Anyway, <laughs> we didn't have we didn't have either of these. Uh-huh. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Andrew. There's more things. And there are more things in the box. Um, this looks like a blind pack for an Assassin's Creed minifigure. What? Assassin's Creed minis, collect, collect, collectible. Collect- collapsible. <laughs> collapsible figures. Ah, interesting. What do we got in here? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Let me see the back. Does it say? That's it's a little, uh, it might... Shea Cormac. Shea Cormac? Right, that's who that is? I don't know who that is. I have only played Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, and I am working my way through um, uh, Revelations. Oh, there's a little thing here. Does this like go in his butt or something? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does actually. It... I think the directions are right here. I don't need directions. Oh, it's just cardboard. You insert Probably this. Probably couldn't like. Just turn your head and cough. All right, and then we'd put this in here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, they they hover. Oh, there we go. I ah. did it. Yeah, little Shea Shea McCormick. He's a spice. There's no Mc. McCormick. Shea McCormick. Spr- just sprinkle a little of this guy on your salad. Tasty. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you. I don't know who this is. I guess I'll learn about him soon. I don't know if he's in Revelations or 3 or 4 or whatever, but very cool. Put him down here. And there's also... Oh, there's a PS Vita game. There's two PS Vita games. Oh, see, that adds to my theory that, 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 that the, PlayStation Vita Vita, or the PlayStation TV plays Vita games. So there is uh, Sonic... Um, Sonic and what is it called? All Stars Transformed. Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed. Oh, they've made quite a few of these. Oh, you can you can race as Wreck It Ralph, in case you wanted to play as Wreck It Ralph. And there's also Freedom Wars. I'm not exactly sure what that is. We have a few other PS Vita games that we've uh, collected, but we've actually had no way to play them. So I'm pretty sure the PlayStation TV does play them. And Sagan is up here because he really wants to learn more about the. PlayStation TV. There's also um, PS3 remastered in high definition, the Sly Collection, uh, which is Sly Cooper and the Thievist Raccoonist. I think that's one. So Sly 1, 2, and 3. Very, very cool. People love these games. I did a, um, I did a first 20 of, I don't know which one. I think it was Sly 3. I'm not sure, but I think it was Sly 3, but I'm not entirely sure. But I did a, a first 20 or a Demo Fridays or something of it once, and there was such an outpouring of support. They're like, please play these games. They're really cool. But yeah, the entire collection. All and right, there are also three players' guides. Okay. There is Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Turok Dinosaur Hunter, the original Turok. And GoldenEye 007. <laughs> Sorry. Mal. Look look at look at this mm-hmm. and imagine that that's his mouth. And now you can never unsee it. Now it looks like oh, his Oh, connected. Yeah, now it looks like his mouth is like out there here. Sorry. Um the fantastic uh fantastic players guides. Um I actually uh I've never played have I ever played Turok at all? I don't even know if I've played Turok. I obviously I own Turok because we got all the N64 games now, but um I don't have these players guides, so that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Andrew. I appreciate that. But there's no leather? I didn't see one. Oh, no. Okay. Well, um, Andrew from Edmonds, Washington. I don't think there was a leather in here, but I sincerely appreciate you sending all this stuff. Um, we're going to have to learn more about the PlayStation TV. Like I said, pretty sure it plays Vita games, and that's really neat. So you can use that to, you know, play different Vita games. Like, there was even, um, there was an, un- there was an Uncharted game released for Vita. I mean, it's not like main series, but still, like it's yeah, like it, it's an Uncharted game. Like that's really neat. Anyway, Andrew, thank you so much. Next up, we have a package from the UK. Um, on the back, it, it says Jiffy Green, uh, but there's, there's a letter. So there's no return address, but there's a leather inside. So inside, we open this up. Uh, Dear Stephen Amell. My name is Anna. I've been watching your channels for two years, and this is the first letter I'm writing to you, so I don't really know how to start. I guess I could tell you how I found your channel. I was watching a video about cats, and on the related video list was day 1019, Cats and Games. The title piqued my interest, so I clicked on it and immediately fell in love with Sagan and Kepler, and just continued to watch the next day and the next day, and I was hooked. 
Uh, not only that, but I found myself liking the two humans of the channels as much as the cats. You are such a wonderful, funny, and loving couple that I couldn't help but be drawn to you both. After several months, I finally completed the journey, but I needed more. And so I decided to turn my attention to your other channel, Steven Plays. To tell you the truth, I'm not much of a gamer. The only games I really enjoy are the Ace Attorney series, which is a good series, and would do, uh, would so love it if you would do either a first 20 or better yet a full Let's Play of one of those games in the future. Even though I don't always like the games you do for their content, I absolutely love your Let's Plays because of your commentaries alone. I especially like the Stephen Amal series. My favorite Stephen Plays is Pokemon Leaf Green, but there are so many good ones, it's very hard to choose. I finished watching all the Let's Plays now, and I always look forward to the next one. I just want to say thank you for doing what you're doing. Your videos always make me laugh, and I hope you continue to make awesome content for as long as possible. Love, Anna. P.S. I've included some gifts for Mao in my leather. They are Japanese-style stickers with cats on them. Sorry I don't have anything for Steven. Anna, it is totally okay because I really appreciate your kind words. That was really nice. A very, very nice letter. Look at these! Oh my god. Look, it's like a, a bowl and like... Yeah, show them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mal's just like, they're all mine. These, and they're, they're like three-dimensional. They're puffed. They're, yeah, puff. That's a good way of saying that. They're puff stickers. These ones are flat, but they're really pretty. They're gold leaf. Yeah, Japanese, the Japanese love stickers. It's a gold leaf. Like they, Look and they know they how to do them right. <gasps> and these ones, they're little these black are cats. Really, they're really, really tiny. Cute. Really, really cute. These are amazing. These and ones also, are like slightly transparent. Where did you get them? <laughs> Maybe they um, maybe they have like a, a Japanese store or something. Kitties. I have a special deep place in my heart for for black kitties. Yeah, Mel had a I don't know, have we talked about Mel? I don't know. I mean if we have it's been very brief, mm -hmm. but yeah, Mal um Mal's cat and what her screen name for a lot of her stuff was named after. She changed it. She's she's changed her stuff over to her actual name, but um, her name was Mel Cat. And it's because she had a cat named Mel and it Melster. was a, Melster and it was a black cat. Um, I had to, I got to meet Mel um, briefly. Mel did not like you. Mel, <laughs> Mel Mel did not did not like the idea of me re replacing your affection. So yeah, that was what this Mel one didn't says. Like. Please smile. It seems something nice will come. <laughs> Mel Mel's a a very finicky cat. He liked me. He liked you. He and, loved me. And just you. And yeah. That was that was pretty it. much. But Mal was a Mal was a great cat. Anyway, so Mal Mal has a special place in her heart for black cats because of Mal. So getting all those black cat stickers was really nice. Anyway, um, Anna, thank you. Uh, this is this is all really fantastic, and I'm really curious where you actually got all this stuff because it's. I mean, I feel at least around here, it's it's hard to find that kind of thing. You have to go to like a very like a specialty store or something, you know, to actually find that stuff. Very, very cool. Anna, thanks. So we have five more packages and none of them are from a person. They're all from like a, a company or something. So um, I'm really hoping that there's gift messages in these and it looks like there may be. Uh, this says, a gift for you. Hi, Stephen Amal. This is a classic from my college days that I hope you both enjoy. Okay. Um, and it doesn't say exactly who it's from, but are these all from Amazon? Um, most of them. I mean, this one didn't say Amazon. Okay, so these actually may be all from the same person, and then one of the gift receipts might say who it's from exactly. But all right, so the first thing we have, Snatch It Word Game. It's like a little tube, and it says, Make a word, take a word. Uh, Snatch It takes just thirty seconds to learn, but you play it for the rest of your life. It's the ultimate war of words. Uh, place the leather tiles face down in the play area. Players take turns flipping over a tile until a word of three or more leathers can be formed. Uh, it need not be your turn. As soon as you spot a word, call it out. Take the leathers and place the word face up in front of you. But beware, the words you make may not be yours for long. Words can be formed in two ways, by using three or more leathers from the center or by adding one or more leathers to an existing word. Players may snatch any word by changing it with the addition of one or more leathers. So your cat may become someone else's cart which could then be snatched as track seconds later. You must use all the leathers of the word you are snatching. Huh, continue until all 100 tiles have been flipped over and no more new words can be formed. Interesting. It sounds like- it sounds um, like it'd be something our, your family would enjoy. Yeah, because my parents really like bananagrams, um, and I, I really like bananagrams, so it sounds like bananagrams, but 
like you can steal the tiles. Stealing banana grams. Yeah, like FIFA grams. Because really, bananas had never had anything to do with it. All right, very, very cool. So once again, don't know who sent this, but thank you. And maybe we'll learn more as we open up uh, some of the other stuff. Next. Another one. Okay. With another gift for um, note. Okay. Uh, hi, Steven. I love your stuff. I found you through my inspiration to make YouTube videos, Trucka Conroy. This is hopefully something you'll enjoy. It's one of my favorite card games from YouTuber Super Popple. Okay, so now we actually have a name to put on this. Super Popple. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to assume Super Popple is actually who sent uh, the, the other. The last one. Yes, the last one as well. So Super Popple sends Monopoly Deal. Play in 15 minutes. And it's a, it's a card version of Monopoly. Play the Monopoly game in just 15 minutes. Collect three property sets to win. Force deals, debt collectors, and deal breakers change your fortunes in an instant. Deal fast and win fast. Fast dealing, card stealing, fun. Lots of lots of stealing. Super Papa was into games where you steal. But that's fine. Cool. Very, very neat. Monopoly deal. There was, a, there was another Monopoly card game like a million years ago that I had played. But it wasn't this, it was before this ever existed, but it was something completely different. And I wonder if Super Popples ever heard of that one, but I can't remember the name of it. But it was it was a long time ago. Do I like, remember anything like that? It's gotta have been like 15 years ago at this point. It's been a long, long time ago. Anyway, very, very cool. I'm always uh, always open to games, especially ones you can play very, very quickly, so I appreciate that. Mal's using her strength to open this package. It's sticky. It's sticky, but she's giving it her all. What is inside? It is. It is a note. that. It's a thank, uh, it's a gift for you. But it doesn't, okay, this doesn't have a gift for C. I'm going to assume it's from Super Popple. Um, so we'll just assume it's from Super Popple. It's, I could pee on this. And other poems by cats. And I could pee on this. a cat coloring book. Oh, Create what? A cat coloring book. Oh, man. Okay. Who wants to hear, who wants to hear a poem by a cat? I do. I'm gonna open up to a random page. This one's called Family. Sometimes when I lie on your warm chest and hear your every happy sigh, I gaze into your two kind eyes and wonder, who is that? <sighs> this one's called I lick your nose. I lick your nose. I lick your nose again. I drag my claws down your eyelids. Oh, you're up? Feed me. How about one more? Elegy for a toy I broke. Sagan's life. You no longer jingle. You no longer roll. You no longer do anything. Since I had to see what made you work. <laughs> I can't deal with all this guilt. I can't express my deep, deep grief. I can't believe what a, pe a, a cheap piece of crap you were. Seriously, I hardly touched you before you broke. I could pee on this and other poems so deep. by cats. <laughs> You're good at that. You're good at that. Do you ever go to jazz clubs and do this? Um, anyway, very, very cool. Creative Cats coloring book. You didn't see this one. These are some really tricked out cats. Oh my God. This this just makes me think, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a playing card. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. There should be like like regal cat playing cards. There probably are. Um, yeah, there probably are, but still, that's what made me think of. Super Popple, presumably. Thank you, I appreciate that. And there's still some other stuff. Yep. So once again, I'll just assume this is all from, from that person. There's two things in here. And uh, none of these have uh, gift notes on them, so I'm just gonna continue to assume it's Super Popple. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How, how does this exist? Grumpy Cat's worst Christmas ever. Ho, ho, no. Um, in this feline sensation's first movie, Grumpy Cat's worst Christmas ever, lonely Grumpy Cat, uh, lives in a mall pet shop where she never gets chosen by customers because she always gets passed over This kitty develops a very sour outlook on life until one day during the holidays a very special 12 year old girl named crystal Enters the pet store and falls in love with grumpy, huh? I had no idea this existed. Okay, interesting and I've heard good things about this sushi go the pick up the the pick and pass card game 
and it won Platinum Best Toy Award. Sagan's about to jump on something. I can see him out of the corner of my eye. He's like wiggling his butt. What is he? What are you after? There's nothing there. Oh, his toy. Oh, what toy? A crinkle oh. ball. Is this what you want? You're interrupting mail for this. Go get it. <laughs> I think he slammed into something. Anyway, uh, yeah, Sushi Go. Um, I think I think I actually talked to Super Popo about this because um, I like how he brought it over and shoved it into boxes to make as much noise as possible. Um, I, we actually, I believe we were recently given a copy of Sushi Go, um, but then I think Super Popo saw that and then he said something on a mail video and was like, uh, you could probably combine them and like play with more people or something like that. So regardless, I appreciate that. And actually one of the things I'm, I'm gonna do, it's probably out, fingers crossed. I probably have it done by the time this mail video is out. Um, list of all of our games. On the list where we list our video games, so you guys know ahead of time like what we have, I'm doing that with board and card games. That should be done by the time this is, is out. So if you guys have like a game, you're like, oh man, I wanna send them this game, but I don't know if they have it yet. Now you'll be able to do that. There's been an outcry for that for a long time and I've just never done it. Finally doing it so you can check it and say, okay, they do have this or they do have this or they don't have this. Now you'll know. So that takes care of that. All right, thank you for that regardless. And there's still one, one more. more. And it actually came rubber banded with this one. Okay, so they're probably together. So in the last package, from Super Popple. There is, what is this? What are you? <gasps> Flingshot flying monkey, hear me scream. Oh. What? How do, oh, you put your fingers and then you pull and then you let go and it's like a slingshot. Oh my God. You guys see that? It's a monkey with a cape. And then you, you pull it back. You use both arms, according to the picture. And you can like, pull on his legs or tail. Okay, so I'm gonna put my fingers in his hands like this. And then you probably pull on his tail and it's a slingshot. Hey, Cappy. Not, not at the cat. I'm not gonna do it at him. Are you smell him sniff it? Yeah. Do you wanna get it? You wanna get your fine slingshot monkey? Okay, there we go. See if this thing actually works. <laughs> it almost went in the trash can. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Well, luckily it didn't. Both of the cats are over there like, I don't know what this is, but I need to sniff you. So that thing's getting sniffed. What is Next that? Next up is a cat butt coin purse. Cat butt field guide. It's a coin purse, but it's got cat, cat butts. butts on it. <laughs> I have no idea. But there are little, little kitty sphincters. Um, <laughs> or, anus, right? The sphincter is technically the tube inside. The muscle. Oh, the, the sphincter is the muscle. I believe so. So this is, it's anus, right? I'm glad that we have to discuss this right on mail. Yes, the cat butt coin purse. And then, thing. And then uh, Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two for the Wii U. Very, very cool. Uh, I heard really good things about uh, the first game and I, I heard that this came out. I never actually heard anything about this, so I don't know. Um, if it was good, but th they made a first one. Yeah. Or they, they made the first one and then they, they liked it enough to make a second one. I know people really liked the first one. I wonder if they're planning a... Um, movie? No, not a movie, a third Epic oh. Mickey. I remember such a really off the wall idea. Although to be fair, like Kingdom Hearts exists and like that's a crazy idea. Like who would have thought of putting Final Fantasy and Disney together? So, huh, very, very cool. Um, Super Popple. Thank you. There's a ton of stuff. I mean, five different uh, five different packages. Uh, I don't know much about this, but I will let people in the comments spout off and say, hey, that's a good game. Oswald. So there's like cartoons he's in. Mm, if there are, there aren't many. Okay. It's old. Yeah, well, I, I gathered that. Interesting. Very, very cool. So there's this, there's Grumpy Cat, there's Sushi- Cat butt coin purse. <laughs> There are some anuses um, and a handful of other things. Very, very cool. Super Popple, thank you. I, I sincerely appreciate that. There's um, there's so much different stuff here. And then Snatch It Word Game, which I'm really excited to play. Um, we'll have to try that with my parents because they'll probably really uh, enjoy that. Uh, for everyone who sent in mail this month, thank you, we appreciate it. If you're watching right now and you'd like to send something in, you can go into the description box. There's an FAQ link. It'll teach you all about mail. 
Um, they'll also link you to um, our list of video games and uh, board games slash card games. So if you want to send something in, you'll know if we already have it or not. Uh, I'm also going to try and do that for Blu-rays. Uh, I haven't gotten that done yet. Maybe by the time this is out, I've, I have, but I'm going to try and do that as well because I know some people like to send Blu-rays. Um, so that'll all be set so you have a list of, of what we have. And we'll be doing another uh, mail video as soon as we get through, half, or as soon as we get halfway through March. Mm-hmm. Or no, wait, this one comes out. This, this one comes, comes out, out half, March. halfway through March. It's so you'll February. get the next one in you, April. You'll get the next one halfway through April. Yeah. Sorry, I got a little confused. Um, either way, fantastic mail month, lots of amazing stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys in ho- hopefully less than a month. See you guys pretty soon. Thanks for watching, and let's meet back next time, whenever that may be, for more mail.